Hey, what's good everybody? It's me. It's Domino. So, I'm sure many of you noticed that last week's video was not a uh, ranked match adventure. Metal Arena adventure. It's a uh, pretty good reason for that. And I'll get into that into this video. As you can tell, that uh, it's also not a ranked Metal Arena adventure. What a shock. So, uh, let me get... Uh, this first and foremost out of the way. Cecilia got buffed. Hell yeah. Now the problem with that is that uh, she has nothing to help. <laughs> um, her buff is fine. I would have preferred it if they just kind of doubled her attack. Because 400k grenades sounds cool, but explosive is resisted by almost every unit out there so it's more like 300k and yeah it's they're they're easily blockable they're you know they they cause a fair amount of knockback they got 10 resist strain so it takes a takes a couple of them to knock back a unit their projectiles um and you know her special is the dupe she dutes out attack up and Reload, which is, you know, it's fine, but uh, big problem is PM does not have anything really worth using at the moment, and that goes into what will be the meat of our video today. So, it's no shock that PM has been kind of coasting for a good while, ever since Acheto got buffed, and uh, you know that's you know it's, it's it's workable, but you know during that time, PM has not really received any new tools, <laughs> and by tools I don't mean units. They've been getting you know new units, but there's these. The tools that they were given are still very, how do we say, pre-version 6.0. And by this I mean the units they give, they do one purpose, and that's it. And you know, like, it could be like a backliner that stuns, and that's all they do. Or a frontliner that evades, and that's all they do. Or, you know a a frontliner that just hits very hard and that's all it does and you know for a while that that was very viable but literally within the last month the game has gone through a drastic change and where you just need more flexibility out of your units otherwise you just fall apart um, easiest example here is how quickly Parasite Zombie changed the game. Uh, you know, two weeks ago I was using Machine Gun Unit and, you know, since the second it came out I had to drop it. Uh, it heavily punishes projectiles, it has an evasion that forces all projectiles into the ground, so this really hurt Sorceress and Damien specials as they just kind of dive right into the ground and get deleted because it's the ground <laughs> and you know that's uh, you know that's 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 very handicapping um but see here's the thing is it just zombies fault and the answer is no it's not <laughs> the, the issue is that a lot of PM's units are just too one-dimensional. And for like Acheto, for example, her main strength is that she has 13 and a half million HP. She has a 600k long range dash counter and her special does 1.3 million per tick. But that's all she has. And it's just raw numbers in a game where we we exist now where a frontliner has 
Evasion, Regeneration, Mid-Map Spawn, and Naturally High HP to begin with. And, you know, you do that and then you stack on a backliner that has a ton of ton of support like unheard of support you know just being able to apply infinite range defense down and you know if it gets a kill it gets an attack boost for a short amount of time and you know if it's not obvious who I'm talking about I'm talking about Sordiest and Ice the newest alien and it's yeah, it's it's tough, man. Like, but here's the thing: even before them, <laughs> it, the, there was still an issue. The only problem is that ne that it's just being made more and more apparent that older unit designs, even if they get buffed, are just gonna fall flat. I mean, Miharu, for instance, is a unit. Okay, cool. She got buffed to 19 million H, uh, HP. That's fantastic. Until you, you know, you think about it, and she's got zero iframes. She's heavily special reliant. Her range is super short. And it's like, man, 19 million really doesn't mean a lot. It doesn't really fucking mean a lot when defense down is being applied. Just for free it hits very hard the you know the unit that she's tasked to kill with can evade or they can flat out just kill her in retaliation um so it's 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 a bit problematic because i i honestly feel that pm is out of usable old units um like I thought about this for a while and uh, like like here like okay they buff Sally now if you remember Sally she had 69% evasion but that was it she couldn't do her special she and once she was in invasion loop because her special just over her evasion overrid like made it so that she couldn't special because it was just too hard to time and that's kind of all she did back then so imagine buffing a unit to that of uh, that now like what what is that gonna do her, she wouldn't be able to reach anything in the back line and when she's special she gives up her position in the front line so you can't even have Sally by herself just hold off units because she'll just give up the front line and then <laughs> that's it uh, Lucy the frog girl uh, is cursed with a horrible evasion <laughs> that makes her move backwards and the evasion takes higher priority over the special as the special has a small startup if she evades during the small startup the evasion overrides the special and no special comes out and yeah that's uh, very problematic Chunyan is a unit that you know sounds like she could be cool she you know she does her special she launches the little rock and you know hey let's give the rock like like 10 million okay 10 million is not a lot <laughs> like they would need to like 10 million is not a lot like remember this rock it will have zero iframes so that means it's susceptible to all the all the status downs poison defense down MSA, just hard hits in general. So it's, you know, like it's it's not gonna do it. It's not gonna do too much good if the rock just keeps getting broken faster than she can keep reapplying it. Um, Matilda, Matilda's probably the last PM unit that could probably have some sort of effect on the field. And that's only because she's a good staller. She's not a good attacker. She's a good staller. And this is very important to note the difference. If she was a good attacker, she would be able to break front lines and push. 
but you can't. Especially versus units nowadays and the fact that many people run recovery as her attacks are slow and they have a very small range. So, you know, you combo those two things together and you re quickly realize that she's not going to be able to push things. She's just going to make you die slower. And, you know, right now she's at 51% evasion, and I, I'd be very surprised if they leave it at that, considering they've kneecapped every 51% evader and 69% evader. So, you know, if she gets pushed down to 34.5 or even 21 or 17, whatever. Uh, you know, suddenly Raptilda's not lasting like she used to. Um, another issue PM has is just an overall lack of range. Uh, it's not very hard to see that ranged units that like Nora, fucking Clone Marco, Fee. All of these units just give PM trouble because they have no real way of reaching back and hitting them or being able to apply appropriate resources to deal with them without overextending. Um, like, there used to be, you know, you used to be able to use, like, like for instance, you could use laser unit to deal with Clone Marco, but Clone Marco has 13 million HP on his first form before he goes into zombie. And on top of that, if you use laser and they have zombie, you make zombie just evade forever. So, you know, it's uh, it's the lose-lose situation. Um, namely, PM kind of really could use an overhaul in terms of their units. I mean, PM is also the faction that, that just refuses to be given like good silencers, like it, it, don't use like Ribot, please. Like, are you, are you if you really think a tap to deploy one million HP froggy is going to be able to do anything to any unit, you're insane. <laughs> um, it's you know, it's unfortunate. I did what I can for this season, and you know, I. I did my best to test and experiment, and you know the best the best course of action for Metal Arena for me for the rest of this season, as of May 28th, is to literally not play Metal Arena. Um, I'm not saying this is a way PM sucks. It's just that that's just you know, it's the best play is to not play, and it's the hold, and that's you know true of many other factions at the moment that aren't alien, mixed, or indie, or PF. Like, well, no. I would say more like alien, maybe PF, and mixed. That'd be it. It'd be those three. Indie had a small window, and that window was already ripped apart by ice. Amazing. Ice and, uh, questing Odette. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I feel about PM unit, P, the PM faction as of right now. Does that mean I'm not going to do a Metal Arena adventure next week? Nah, I'm going to do a Metal Arena adventure next week. It's just that statistically there's no reason for me to risk dropping rank. <laughs> uh, the pool in Metal Arena is kind of dried up at the moment. The only people playing are aliens picking on people who happen to be playing to get their small number jumps or you know people who are going to pull on the reproduction crank get their sword and other missing units and then have their spin at metal arena so you know it's it's mm, not not a smart time especially at the end of the season so uh let's see so what's my uh so what's the point of this video? Well, I guess the point of this video is to say that I think that at this moment in time, PM is in serious need of receiving actually new units and to stop relying on old buff units. 
getting units buffed is cool and all, but it doesn't mean shit if they just become fucking punching bags for units that are released currently with more adaptive effects and just apply much more synergy than a single one-dimensional unit can. Like, and you know, just, just to go through this, the list of units that I feel like just, you know, not not alone are problematic, but you know, you put them with literally other units on this list and it's like, hmm, these two units kind of fuck up my deck. Or hell, even this one unit can fuck up my deck. And you know, that are, that are Ice, Questing Odette, Feed, Parasite Zombie, Clone Marco, Cockatrix, Sword Ice, Wendy, Howl, Christmas Roomy, Antlion, like, this, like, this, this combination, these units are basically units that PM, and to a lesser degree, Rebel faction are missing out on. Like, all of these units are able to apply crazy utility that make it so that their other units can easily break through or win the game or put yourself in a position where yeah you're not you're not you're not gonna win because let's face it defense down application at this moment is absurdly strong like turning all resistance to x resistance just cuts through millions of hp especially when attacks already do millions so it's like does thir is 13 and a half million a lot no not anymore 13 and you know 13 and a half million and being reliant on knockback counters and resist strain is a bad trait especially when you don't have iframes and reload isn't exactly the most practical at this time in fact I, I would on I would still argue that the MSA is the most practical because at least you can hit Clone Marco <laughs> with PM with MSA. At least, at least you know, once Clone Marco's at his front, the MSA hits him twice and forces him into the zombie mode, which is less threatening than getting hit for 300k crits from his long range as it kills your sorceress in like four hits because of it while she's trying to swing at a zombie. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a negative video this time around. I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, I didn't really have any matches recorded that I wanted to, sh that I wanted to edit. Uh, only Cecilia was buffed. God bless her. Uh, I don't really know, you know, I don't really know what, in, what the next update will bring for PM. And I really doubt that one update will be able to turn this faction around. I think this is going to be just a gradual thing. That you know, it's gonna take a couple updates to gr to get you know reasonable units that can synergize well with each other, able to apply new effects, able to not be just buffed units. The faction, as you know, that has clearly shown that. Oh hey, if your if your faction's all just fucking buffed units, that means they're all old, which means that they all they all have attacks that are just no longer relevant in the same way how like the original metal rear the original jupiter king the original stone turtle attack where it's just like wow those numbers those attacks have big numbers too bad they all fucking suck so it's 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 just like a case of that um yeah we'll see what happens next week um you know Worst comes to worst, at least I can start the season fresh, and we, you know, we'll, we'll have some fun. But for now, that's all I got. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.